The main goal of the tutorial is to support speech language pathologists to undertake assessments of multilingual children with suspected speech sound disorders, um, and particularly children who speak languages that are not shared by their speech language pathologist, and most frequently that the speech language pathologist has nobody in their um, workplace or community that actually speaks that language. So to really provide um, resources um, as well as advice, um, as well as a case study about how to actually use the resources. The tutorial was written by 46 researchers who'd worked in 43 countries and used 27 languages in professional practice. So it's quite a feat to have everybody happy with a document uh, when they're all coming from that many perspectives. But in fact, um, the panel all signed off and said that they were happy with this version uh, that is now in the American Journal of Speech Language Pathology to go ahead for the rest of the world to read. With advice from 46 prominent researchers and speech language pathologists about throughout the world, we actually tried to be as broad as possible. Um, we tried to select evidence-based resources where possible. Um, in some countries, there's a lot of research underpinning evidence-based practice, such in, in Germany, um, whereas other countries where the speech language pathology profession is very new, such as in Vietnam, there are very few evidence-based resources and so we not only drew on evidence-based practice but also practice-based evidence and the expert opinion of this panel um, and that was part of the discussions and negotiations and cross-checking of the information because everyone in the panel um, contributed different sections but then everyone in the panel also read and um, gave comment to all the different sections so that we had the advice across um, across the panel. I hope that they take away three things from this tutorial. I, I hope that they take away the confidence that the skills that they have for working with monolingual children is actually relevant for working with multilingual children and that you know, there's a lot of knowledge that they already have. Secondly, I hope that they take away the fact that the internet is their friend. There are many resources um, and many well-developed and um, carefully developed resources for supporting children who speak languages other than those that you speak. And we might provide the websites uh, for these in the tutorial and also as part of this blog. But I hope thirdly that um, SLPs take away from this tutorial the acknowledgement that they need more time um, to build relationships with families and communities, to actually engage in and understand how to use these resources um, in order to take undertake respectful and useful assessments with multilingual children. Um, so confidence, resources and time are my three key things that I hope people take away from the tutorial. Thank you to the people who have contributed to the International Expert Panel on this project and other projects. It would not be the resource and, and have the depth um, without all of their input and their collaboration and their desire to do the best for the world's children.